the uh, word that you need to understand, and it, it's more important than anything, really, is the word that has to do with sparing your life. And that's, that's what Yeshua's Elokeinu means. Your life is spared. And when you look at the scriptures, you see that God has a place of safety for you where your life is spared. And this is the place where you want to cling to the Lord and wait on Him and stay under the means of grace because, in a way, you're on board the ship of safety and you will not perish. Healing itself, very often in the scripture, is has to do with safety and finding salvation. Hallelujah. And in Acts chapter 28, verse 1, it says, Once safely on shore, we found out that the island was called Malta. You see, when you come to salvation, you are safely on shore. You're no longer in the shipwreck condition of your old life, bobbing around in the in the waves uh, at the point of drowning. Oh, we thank God that He saves us. Hallelujah! It says in um, chapter twenty-eight, verse four, when the uh, when the islanders saw the snake hanging from Rob Shaul's hand, they said to each other, This man must be a murderer, for though he escaped from the sea, justice has not allowed him to live. But Paul shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no ill effects. And we don't suffer ill effects in the fact that we are saved from all the evil of the evil one. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We have been delivered. Hallelujah. In First Kepha chapter 3, uh, and uh, uh, this is the, the big fisherman. He's talking to you. He's talking to me about salvation. He knows what he's talking about. He is saved. And in 1st Kepha chapter 3 verse 20 he says uh, who disobeyed long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built in it only a few people eight in all were saved through water. Hallelujah. Saved. Now when uh, Rav Shaul had so many people that wanted him dead, and the, actually the government was his bodyguard because if he had not been uh, under guard, uh, he would have been torn to shreds more than once. But in uh, Acts chapter uh, 23, verse 24, you see this word in Yiddish, in the uh, Yiddish Brit uh, Adashah, and that is, that is the word Zikahet, meaning safety. And that's what God provided for Rav Shaul, safety. Because it says in Acts chapter 23, uh, verse uh uh, 24 provide mounts for Paul so that he may be taken in safety to Governor Felix and this is a wonderful thing that happened God was going to protect Rav Shaul until all of his work was finished 
And after he had finished his last letter, which was Second Timothy, his work was finished, and God gave him the honor of dying al Kiddush Hashem in Rome. But he did it only when all of his work was finished. And in chapter 23, it says, The following night the Lord stood before Paul and said, Take courage, have you, as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. And this is a very encouraging verse. Because there was going to be a terrible shipwreck. There were going to be conspiracies and various plots to kill Paul. And even when he was in the midst of this terrible typhoon, there were soldiers that wanted to put the prisoners to death, meaning Paul would have been killed. But God protected him completely and all the way. My God shall supply all your needs. The good work that he began in you, he will complete until the day of the Moshiach ben Dovid. And, you know, uh, sometimes we think our life is over. And God has something else for us to do. And he encourages us that he's going to help us do something else. Now, when I was a very young man, very, well, I was just a boy, actually. I was about 18 or 19 years old. I was on the Showboat Majestic doing melodramas and comedies all up and down the Ohio and the Mississippi River doing uh, the equivalent of summer stock every night performances in front of huge audiences on that boat. But today, as I look back over that uh, time, since it's been so long ago, it's been a, a about 60 years now. Uh, that's a long time. Almost everybody that was in that acting company is deceased. And yesterday I was just looking at my phone and all of a sudden I saw one of them. Uh, his father was the head of the department. He was deceased and I didn't even know it. So all these people are gone and you might think well you know i'll be gone soon and uh i guess god is finished with me but what does it say here it says take courage no matter what your age is god has something uh, left for you to do and uh just uh, uh a few days ago the uh, work was started to put the Yiddish Tanakh on Paratext, which is the software that Bible translators use in the United Bible Society. So here I had finished uh, the, the Brit Shah, and I thought I was all finished, and uh, felt a little washed up and, and forgotten. And then the Lord said, oh no, you got something else to do here. Just as Paul testified in Jerusalem and God told him, look, you must also testify in Rome. Well, in a very uh, smaller sense, but still important because when we look at the Bible, we see our own life. It's like a mirror held up to us. The Lord is saying, no, you finished the Brit Shah, and now you're going to finish the Tanakh. And uh, there's a man in the Netherlands right now formatting it in the verses and chapters. And it will be prepared so that each Yiddish word can be tweaked and changed, and re rewritten, and, and uh, the correct spelling and the correct meaning 
and putting it against the Hebrew <coughs> sure that it 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 uh, perfectly uh, reflects the Hebrew Tanakh. What a glorious <laughs> thing! And you see, none of this is possible without God's zikrahate, His safety. <coughs> he saves us. He saves us. You are saved by the Lord. He has snatched you out of the fire. He has surrounded you with his salvation. He has kept you. He, when you get in the car, when you walk down the street, he's watching over you. He's helping you. And you have work to do for him. And he will keep his hand upon you to the end until all that work is finished and you go to glory. Hallelujah. This is the way we need to think about salvation. And there's a, uh, a Greek word, and this word is diazozo, and it means to convey safely through. To convey safely through. If you are a believer, God is conveying you through this olam hazeh safely through. You've already been saved from the fire and from the judgment and from the condemnation. But now his hand is upon you to bring you safely through, just as he did Rav Shaul to get him from Jerusalem to Caesarea, and from Caesarea to Rome, and from Rome to heaven, all the way till his work was finished. And what a glorious thing that God would call us to preach the good news, to share the glorious scriptures with people, to, to be like a uh, a, a, a light in a dark place to serve those who are perishing the word of life and here in New York it is needed and here we are and God is with us and he is going to help us Lord I want to pray right now that you will convey us safely through that you will show each one of us the work that we must do. Perhaps one person needs to write a tract. Perhaps another person needs to preach or do a teaching. Perhaps someone else has something to do uh, as, a, as a mercy ministry for someone. Uh, whatever it is that we've got to do, that God has called us to do, he will help us. And we want to thank him. And we want to thank him for this prayer meeting that every night we can compare notes in the Lord. And every night the Lord can show us what happened that day and what was good and what he wants done tomorrow and what he will do even this month, this year, even before the end of this year, what he will do through us, in us, the gifts and calling that he has given us all the things that he has invested in us we want to bring that investment to the lost sheep of the house of israel to the people for whom moshiach died the people who are wandering around who don't know their left hand from their right who need a witness who need us to tell them something lord i ask you to lift all the burden of the day off of us and help us to simply endure hardship and do the work of a Mavaser. Hallelujah. And we want to thank you for this, Lord, and we want to give you all the praise. And everybody said,